What's up, everyone? Happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day night. We are down here in East Rockaway again, outside the Lazy Lobster, which well, looks like it's about to open. Maybe it is open already. I haven't been following. Down here by the water. Once again, it's a windy night. The wind will not give up here in Long Island, New York. We got some boats in the water over here. Been ready for the season. Grandpa Tony's wood fired pizza over here, another cool place. And uh been over here a bunch of times. The wind's so strong it blew the bike down. Kind of annoying. I'm really getting tired of cold and wind. I don't know why the New York climate has changed so much, but it seems like it has. But anyway, we'll get your message of the day. So I was on a podcast shuffle and uh my podcast came out with my buddy Josh Thomas in the do zone. And uh Listen to that a little bit. We we uh, recorded it, uh, I don't know, a month or so ago. Probably longer than that. Two months ago, something like that. And uh, I kind of actually forgot what we talked about. So I listened to that again. It was all talking about doing and getting stuff done. And then uh, next up in the shuffle was uh, my girl Sonia and my buddy Jerry Gherkin. Um, Sonia is a wholesaler in real estate. Jerry uh, sells cars. Um awesome people three of uh my favorite people in uh in the world and uh the common theme all came back to doing and uh and i wear that hat fye right forget your excuses and that theme correlates to mother's day because moms can't make excuses moms have to get stuff done the kids don't take care of themselves moms have to do it um, dads contribute, but we definitely don't do our share. I mean, I guess maybe some guys do, but I'd say the good majority of the dads out there don't do our share of raising their kids. It falls mostly on the moms. And even better, the moms that are career moms that juggle kids and a career, or one step on top of that, a single mom that's juggling uh, a career and the kids. Um, talk about FYE. There is no chance you can make an excuse for not doing what you need to do. Um, the most extreme case, single moms, right? You're trying to uh, keep the house together, pay the bills, feed the kids, get them to sports, get them to the doctor, get them to all wherever they got to go. And um, there is no room for excuses. There is no room to not do what they need to do. And I think we can all take a lesson from the moms out there and how they do things. Um, moms just get it done. If you watch a busy mom... Um, you know, the mother of my children, uh, raising six kids. Um, I don't know how she does it. Honestly, I don't. I don't know how she does it. Gets them all up, gets them all fed. Just think about it. When she cuts their uh, nails and toes, um, it is, what, 120 uh, toenails, fingernails? Um, little stuff like that. It's freaking nuts. So uh, if you think about that stuff, and you think about how they get it done, and I think the rest of us men out in the world uh, can learn from them that we need to push ourselves and we need to focus on what needs to be done and we need to do it. We can't let stuff distract us. Um, Josh talked about with me the term non-negotiable. This ride I'm doing here is non-negotiable. Doing 10 miles is non-negotiable. Um, tonight I started out the ride and I uh, rode over to uh, Tina Pork Store to see my buddy Johnny Pork... Uh, where he works over there. He has a, uh, they're called the pork van. He makes his deliveries in. He's having some issues with it. So I told him we have a full-time mechanic in uh, our shop in our HVAC company. And I told him I'd have my guy take a look at it. It was straight out for him. Uh, Johnny's always good to me, so I want to try and return the favor. And uh, so I rode my bike over to Franklin Square, picked up his van. I forgot to shut the app off. So I put an extra two and a half miles uh, on the app driving. Now, I could have just ran you know rode another half a mile and called it 10 miles but it's not negotiable i know i didn't do 10 miles so here i am now down in east rockaway and now i will do my 10 miles i will do over 10 miles now with the uh extra mileage um because it's not negotiable 10 miles a day um moms raise their kids it's not negotiable they got to feed them they got to bathe them they got to get them to school they got to get them to their practices they got to do the laundry. They got to do whatever it is that they need to do. Um, so some of them got to go to work, got to pay the bills. Uh, non-negotiable. So if you treat everything in your life like it's non-negotiable and just do it, um, you'll accomplish a lot more.
Just think about that as you go through your day. What are you doing each day that is non-negotiable? Think of it like um, a mom, your mom would have done. What would they have done to get the work done, to make things happen? Um, the ultimate multitaskers out there are moms. So shout out to the moms. Um, I don't know how the world would get by without you, uh, raising us all, uh, your adult children. Um, we never grow up, especially as men. And um, appreciate everything you do for us. And appreciate everything you do for the world. And uh, you're the unsung heroes of the world because uh, you guys get a lot done. And uh, you just do it. And we don't make excuses. Um, you know, we everyone laughs some demand flu. Moms get sick. They still gotta get. They still gotta do it. Mom's sick. She still gotta take care of the baby. She still gotta take care of everything. Um, yes, men help out, but we're retarded when it comes to, uh, to you know the children. Uh, we don't do as good as the moms do. So anyway, ramble a little bit, but uh, just shout out to the moms on this Mother Day, Mother's Day, the ultimate doers. Uh, it was the common theme of tonight's podcast that I was listening to. Getting stuff done, no excuses, non-negotiable. All right, let's jump on prayers here. It's a pretty night. Your Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, God bless all the moms out in the world. Uh, God bless them for everything they do. Give them the strength to carry on every day, and uh, let, the less, let the rest of us uh, learn from them and how they get things done. Um, help our moms uh, get through things a little easier. Help us to not be as resistant to our moms, and help us to help our moms. We all need to go out of our way to help our moms and do a little bit better with the moms in our lives. Um, if you stop and think about all the things that moms do, it's really incredible. So, amen. All right, everyone, there's your message. Happy Mother's Day. Do like moms do, non-negotiable. Do the work, get it done, make no excuses. There is no excuses when you're mom. You have to do the work. When you're sick, when you're tired, whatever it is, you gotta do the work. So let's learn from the moms. Happy Mother's Day. God bless you all. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Happy Sunday, fun day. Have a great night. Monday, tomorrow. Let's make this week awesome. All right, everyone. Good night.